going. Okay, so we'll run the the first of the experiments with the out of the EduKit sheet here, and this is going to turn on some LEDs and sound the buzzer. So we need the breadboard, which is this unit here, and we're going to connect up the LEDs, which uh, we've got a red one and a blue one here, and the little buzzer, and we need a number of wires to connect these things together. <coughs> so the, the diagram in the worksheet describes how these things are to be connected together. So we've got the two resistors, which are the 330 ohm resistors, which are color coded orange, orange, black, black, because they're 1% resistors. So that's 330 and no zeros after that, so it's 330 ohms. <coughs> and so now we need to put the components as shown on the worksheet, we need to put them into this little breadboard. So we need to put the two LEDs and push the pins through into the breadboard. That's the blue one. And we'll put the red one down here somewhere. So that's the two LEDs and now we need to connect the resistors to limit the current for those. And so the The resistor will put one end into the same vertical row as that pin on the LED and then we'll connect it up, push it into that pin, into that socket there. Really you need to trim these resistors a bit more accurately to the lead length otherwise we've got a lot of leads floating around but we should be able to get it to work here. So, so we'll put that one in there and take that one over to the same pin there. So now we've got two LEDs and two resistors and so we need to connect the, the vertical column of the resistors so we put a pin into there and that's the ground end of the connection so we end up to the ground to one of these horizontal bars here and we're using the one that's labeled negative there so that's the negative thing connected and then we need to take the two pins from the LEDs, so we take the column which is not connected to the resistor from that first blue LED and we'll connect that to the general purpose I.O. bins here and then we're connecting that to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 and 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then the other one needs to connect to pin 9, so we'll plug that one in there and then we go 6, 7, 8, 9 so that's 9 on that and then we'll need to <coughs> we'll need to connect that ground the top one along there which is the ground pin, so we'll put a pin in there and we'll connect that to the ground lead on the Raspberry Pi which is 1, 2, 3, 4, pin 5 on the lower row so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we connect that there so now we've got the LED circuit wired up and so now we're going to put in the, the little buzzer sounder uh, Need to make room so I can put the buzzer in there. So we'll, the negative lead will go to the top to the, the minus side and the positive lead will go down to the bottom there so that's plugged in. So the negative side of the buzzer is, is connected eventually to the top line there to the negative and now we'll connect the other side of the buzzer which is in that column 
and we'll connect the buzzer to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, pin 8 on the lower row. So we've connected that to there. So with a bit of luck we've got those all connected correctly to the Raspberry Pi. And so now, now we can start to plug the Raspberry Pi back together again. So we'll start. So that's that. And then finally we need to put the power, connect the power to the Raspberry Pi. So are we ready to go? So there we are now, the Raspberry Pi is running. Okay, so now the circuit boards are built and we're back onto the software. Let's have a go at trying to get this circuit to run. And um, in order to do that, we're going to write some Python code to, to run this. And um, we need the operating system to work. So I'll just bring up the editor now. In an earlier um, worksheet, we downloaded the code in GitHub, and um, all of that code is now downloaded onto the uh, onto the machine. So if we look at the screen, and I'll just run the file manager, and if I just go into the home directory, you'll see there's now a folder called Educat2, and that's there because I ran that um, clone of the of the GitHub. If I just open that up, you'll see there's a folder called code in there. And if I go in there, I'll see there's a, a file ledbuzz.py. And that's actually the code that I'm going to be running. But I'm going to run that code not from the um, this, but from the idle function. So if I go to the application here and go to programming idle3, there we are, there's, there's idle3 running. And now I can go and file open the code. And I can go and find that kit, educate 2 code, LED buzzer. Then the code I want to run is, is, is all here. And so really, when I run that code, then it should be turning the LEDs on and off. To run the code, I just select the run module menu option under the run menu, or press F5. So let's just try running that and run the module. There we go, that worked, but what I need to do is to show you the uh, the code running and the LEDs here. So, let's try running it again, but this time I'll show you the LEDs running. Right, so I select the I select the run run menu, I'll press F5 and there's the LEDs flashing. So there we have it. That's the first experiment with the Raspberry Pi. We've built the breadboard, we've got some components on it, and we've also just run the Python script and uh, the program run. So that's the end of this. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.